Welcome back to Five Acres Honey Farm. I'm actually at Five Acres Honey Farm West and I haven't checked on these hives in probably three weeks. I have to double check. Um, the small hive beetles were horrible the last time I was here, but the weather wasn't cooperating for me to really help them out too much. Um, the weather is pseudo cooperating today. It is not raining. There's not a cloud in the sky, but it's a high of 52 and it's super windy. So a few things that I'm planning on doing when I go out there. One, I'm planning on using these beetle barns for the first time in my effort to try everything for uh, small hive beetle management. Uh, so the idea in these is that you put a bait in here, so either some pollen or a piece of fruit, and then the beetles will wander in to go check it out, and then the bees will propolize the exterior and trap the beetles inside and they die. I've heard, from what I've read at least, is that those are really good to use later in the season, but I'm just gonna try them now. I have them, just gonna set them up, see what happens. I'm also going to put those Freeman beetle traps back on. Um, the big learning that came from the, la the last time, which was pretty much the first time that I had used them, was that I had um, done like confectionery sugar to like encourage the bees to move the beetles around and, and encourage the, the beetles to fall down into the tray. But that was at a time of the year when the sugar was attracting yellow jackets and the yellow jackets can fit through the screened um, bottom. So this is a time of year when yellow jackets aren't as active. It's really not robbing season or anything. Um, I'm also not using sugar this time. I'm just gonna set up the trays so that they have some oil and water blend in the bottom and just let them hang out. Um, and then um, next week when I am checking on the hives again, I will see if we've had a good um, beetle drop on there. So I figured just doing everything possible early in the season to help them. Um, the other goal today is that I'm going to, do I have them here next to me? I do, okay. I, I have, sorry about that. <laughs> I have the you know traditional beetle traps and these haven't been changed out since like December um, and now we're in March. So I am going to clean these and get them set up with new bait, which is apple cider vinegar and fresh oil and get those replaced in the hive. And then my other goal today is to kill as many small hive beetles as I see. Um, I had a beekeeper um, suggested to me last month that I should shake each of the frames out and um, like into a wheelbarrow or, or a bucket or something and then pour oil over the beetles um, to kill them. Uh, the issue with that is that you have to kind of hope that all the bees fly out in advance so and also to do that with a frame that does not have the queen on it. So I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'm going to reserve that for a warmer day and um, when I feel like I have more capacity. I feel like there's a lot that I'm already doing in the hives today and I just want to focus on what I'm trying to get done. And thank you to someone, I have to go back and see who, um, had suggested putting um, like peppermint candies in the hives. Um, instead of the peppermint candies, I got a peppermint essential oil and I'm going to put that on some Q-tips and arrange that in different corners around the hive. And hopefully that will encourage the beetles to maybe move down and they'll fall in the trap and, and we'll see um, if all of these things will help. Um, but again, it's a chilly day, so I'm hoping that will um, keep the bees fairly like slow moving. Um, we've had a lot of rain, so all of the pine straw that I usually use is fairly wet, but fortunately I had put some aside on my last visit, so I have like just enough dry pine straw to get through both of the hives. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. But we'll go out there and take a look at them. Just showing you how I'm setting up these beetle barns. Um, I had used my pollen trap for the first time, which I'll have a separate video about um, on my other hives. And I just took a few little granules and put them in here and also a little sliver of apple. So I had read that rotting fruit, um, another suggestion was a banana peel kind of leery about using banana since bananas like the, that um, the smell of the alarm pheromone is like bananas so I didn't really want to introduce that but um, since the apple cider vinegar has been um, you know a good um, bait in um, the other traps I figured I'll just stick with the apple theme and that was one of the suggestions too so I'm going to close these up and it oh, didn't close very well 
but close them up and then hopefully the beetles, well, I'll use two hands to close that one. Um, hopefully the beetles will find them and the bees can propolize it and trap them inside. I have all my supplies lined up here so that way I can just get the hives open, get in and get out. Um, I need to put this on first because I need to move all of the boxes out of the way and then restack them. And then I'm going to be putting in these beetle traps and then the beetle barns and then the q-tips with the peppermint oil. Oh, I wanted to mention I got this at a fellow beekeeper's shop um, in Southern Pines, North Carolina. She doesn't sell beekeeping supplies, but she has a lot of like um, home goods and different um, like natural foods and things like that. Um, but it's Willoughby Market. I'll link to that below. It's a really great shop. Um, her original location was in Vass and she just opened up a new spot in Southern Pines. So I reserved one Q-tip because my swarm trap is up there and it needs to be refreshed with some more swarm commander. So um, I actually might do that first before, no, I'll do it after. I need to, my priority is getting in the hive. So I brought one trap for now because um, the other, one of the colonies is really small and I'm trying to be optimistic, but there's a chance that they may not um, have survived the last few weeks. So I will go get the other trap if I see that they have um, been successful at um, survive, surviving. So yeah, now let me, I'll go get suited up and we'll get in there. Got the smoker lit. I actually had to go in the shed to light it because it's just so windy out. Um, now we can go inside. See, hey girl. Gonna get started in a second. Get these little edges smoked there. And get my gloves on and step in there. Good news so far. Lots of larvae and it looks super healthy. Let me see if I can get it in better light so you can see in there. It's gonna be a little tough. Um, but if you are able to see, very healthy larvae of all stages. I, I'm not doing a full inspection. Um, I've just taken out a few frames. I have not seen one small hive beetle, which is great, but I got the Freeman trap set up. Um, the one downside that I notice is that there's a lot of moisture in the hive. You can kind of see it a bit in the corners here on the edge. We had a lot of rain though, and you can see it on the inside of the inner cover and also the top cover, which is way down at the bottom here. Um, so I have the, um, the top cover entrance opened for ventilation. So I'm not sure if it's just because it's been so much rain, but um, I'm gonna just take a peek at a few more frames. I am also, I'm tempted to give them another box. I'm gonna think about it because I will be back here next weekend, but the weather next weekend is horrendous. So I feel like I really should take advantage of the weather today, but at the same time, I don't wanna give more space to the beetles than is necessary. So I'm gonna think about it and keep going. This is the queen. <laughs> who's responsible for all of my hives right now. She is fantastic. I feel like right now you can see there's a ton of drone comb in here. I also found some empty queen cups. I'm very tempted to make a split. And the only reason I'm not going to make a split is that I don't, I'm not gonna be here to feed them. But now I'm like thinking things through could make syrup tonight, put it on the hive later tonight. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Uh, it's so hard. It's so hard to know. But I actually, so I changed my mind about a few things. I did a full inspection. I'm gonna close her up right now with all the beetle traps. I killed every single beetle that I saw. She is so busy. Um, I killed all of them. So I found about 20, which is a lot less than I thought I was going to find. So that's really promising. Um, but it's kind of chilly out. So I'm going to get this closed up and keep thinking about, keep thinking about things. They are all set up. I decided not to split it today. I also decided not to add another box because there are several frames that she can still lay in. They're on the cusp of not having enough food, but 
I mean, it's going to be below freezing tonight and tomorrow night, but then it's going up to almost 80 degrees this week, multiple days in a row. So I feel like with everything that just started blooming, they're going to be bringing in a lot. So I am going to wait and give them a new box next weekend. It'll also give me a chance to see how many beetles will um, hopefully get filled up in there. Um, I did find like three more beetles in the last frame that I checked. I've got the, um, the Q-tip with peppermint oil on it on the corner in there. Got the three traps and I've got the one beetle barn. You can see they're super relaxed. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, now time to check on hive number two. Good and bad news. I had all my traps set up like I just showed you. And because it's so windy, more than half of them fell over and the oil is everywhere. It's everything I was trying to avoid. I should have just lined them up inside the shed. Again, my fault here. Um, I also have all the dirty traps from the hives. So I'm about to empty those. <coughs> the smoker's still going. Um, empty those and then I'm gonna get them clean so that um, next time I can just swap them out rather than go through this whole ordeal um, next time. And so the other um, piece of oh, goodish, baddish news is that other hive that I wasn't too confident about. So um, last month, I did not find the queen in there. I did not find brood, but I thought it was just me. Um, so this time, did not find the queen, did not find brood. There were a little bit of drone comb not drone comb, sorry, a few drone cells. So I'm assuming that one of the layers has started, one of the workers has started laying, which would not be very good, but I didn't see any eggs in there. So it's not, it's not like she's um, gone full blown laying. They have a ton of honey. So what I did was I took a frame of honey and bartered with the strong hive and I took a frame of eggs and um, swapped them. So that way, um, that queen, who's the mom of all of my hives, this will be, now she made it through the winter here. So really good genetics. So I moved that over. Um, I looked that frame over a lot. I did not see her on it. I checked in every corner. I checked everywhere. I'm just hoping that I didn't move her over there. But if I did, then next weekend I can just move her back. We'll just have to um, wait and see. But I think this is a good um, time to do it because um, about a week from now, I can check to see if they were successful in creating a um, uh, some queen larva in one of, um, of those um, cells and also swap out these traps and see if the traps were successful. I decided not to put the Freeman um, bottom board on that tiny hive because they're not even covering like three or four frames um, and I don't want to give them a ventilated bottom board with the nights below freezing right now. Um, so that's something that I can just add on um, in the next month or so and uh, wait till their population um, gets a little bit better. So I just decided, you know, to put some more swarm commander in the swarm trap and let's see, it's hiding in here. I know you're there. Um, there's a, there you are. Someone has decided to take over. I know, I know. So what I will do is I will leave Mr. or Ms. Mouse and next weekend I will put a live trap in here and relocate him or her. There's also a mouse living underneath one of the hives so I will bring a live trap for that one as well and then just move them. It's like a never-ending battle so that is that but I will put a little bit of Swarm commander on it. Who knows? Maybe some bees will come and scare the mouse away or something. I don't know. But in any case, it's really nice up here. And I was hoping that this would be a good spot since the hives are down there. And it's right on the edge of this tree line. It's on a ridge. So attractive that the mouse came here. I'm back inside and rehydrating. And as always, I will share more next time and thank you for watching.